Here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, come on, we have liftoff! Yay! We're off! Hello, everybody, I'm Dave Chaos, and welcome to Mod Spotlight. Ah, it's been a while, and we have got an exclusive look at uh, Galaxycraft. Now, you may have seen some pictures of this on Reddit and the odd video on YouTube by the mod maker, who is called um, McDoodle8, I believe, or it might be Mike Doodle 8 uh, depending on, I don't know, how it's spelled. <laughs> uh, I'll put it on the screen anyway, to make your own mind up. So, uh, this is um, a mod that adds spaceships and other planets to the game um, is so much fun. Now he's he's very generously given me a beta build to have a look at and do this video on um, but he wanted me to stress that this is of course only a beta build and it does have lots of bugs so you're gonna notice a couple things not working and and stuff like that but we'll, we'll get through it and we'll have a look at the main stuff. The main stuff generally works so so let's get on with this. Um, First thing you're going to need with any mod is to have a look at the new ores. So we've got three new ores that you'll find in the overworld. And here they are right here. So let's have a look. So we've got copper ore, aluminium and titanium. Uh, these are all going to be pretty important with the creation of your spacecraft. Um, and you'll have noticed this block right here which is basically uh, a crafting bench but for making a space script. So rocket crafting table it's called. So if you press R we can bring up the recipe for that and you'll see that you need uh, three aluminium and some wood on a crafting table and your aluminium, where is it? There it is. You basically just smelt that. Um, the same way you do anything. You notice that there's a different ore here. Uh, it's the same but looks different and of course this is what you find on different planets. So we'll we'll talk about that in a little while. Um, now there's a whole host of items you can see here on the right. You've got your rockets, spaceships I should say, um, sensor glasses and sensor glasses with oxygen mask and loads of different um, armors and stuff. Now, like I say, some of this stuff has been added to the game but it's got no recipe yet or it's um, no use or anything like that. You'll see here that this is called Unnamed but this is actually um, a moon buggy. So we'll have to spawn one of them because there's no recipe for it unfortunately at the moment. Uh, we've got a flag and in fact if you look at um, the Minecraft standard creative mode, let's have a look, here it is there's actually a whole load of different flags, so here we go, we've got the American one and a load of flags with faces on I do believe it pulls your face um, let's put that, let's see if it'll go down uh, come on, place the flag, oh there we go yay! <laughs> so I don't know if I can knock this down. No, it just oh there it is, yeah, 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 it is, there it is. So we'll have that, we'll keep that. Um so unfortunately at the moment I'm gonna have to spawn in most of the stuff. Um but if the ones that have got recipes we'll we'll have a look at those. I have been messing around with this quite a bit, obviously. So let's spawn one of them in. We'll use that in a little while. Now then, so the rocket, the thing that everybody wants to have a look at is the rocket. So uh on your rocket crafting bench you'll see this. And uh, basically, it gives you a little indicator of what you need. And uh, basically, you're going to need uh, these fins. So there's your nose cone. So let's grab one of those. You need four of these fins. One, two, three, four. Uh, let's bring up the recipes for these. Let's see. Nose cone is quite simple. Uh, the heavy duty plating, which is made out of three of the different ores that have been added to the game. So you've got three titanium, three copper, and three aluminium. And that gives you two of the heavy duty ones. So that's quite good. Uh, for the fins, yes there's a recipe for this, you need again four heavy duties and two aluminium ingots and let's see what's next and then you need a, oh, how many is that, eight, eight of these, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and of course a rocket engine, so let's see if we can bring up the recipe, yes we can uh, here we go, we've got flint and steel, a button four of the duty plating, uh, an air vent and an aluminium canister. So let's grab one of those as well, there we are. And we're going to be able to make our rocket now. So let's get all these placed in like so. Do do do. And ta-da! There we go, we've got a spaceship. So we can now grab that, put it in the inventory. 
Uh, there's these slots here at the top, which unfortunately I don't know what they're for yet. Um, this is called a NASA workbench, by the way. Uh, I've no idea what this is for. I imagine from the shape of it, it's going to be for the moon buggy. If you have a look at that, I reckon that's what that's going to be for. And there's nothing on the next. Yeah, so we can go back to the spaceship. So hopefully, that will become something at some point. Right, so here we are. Uh, we've got our rocket. Another thing that you're going to need is these rocket launch pad. You can see I've already built one. And if you just bring that recipe for that, you need uh, a block of iron, three of those, and three aluminium ingots. And that gives you nine um, of these launch pad plates. If you close that out. Now, to make a launch pad, it has to be three by three, so like that. So you get exactly enough that you need. And all you do is get your rocket in your hand. Right click on the central one there, and ta-da, there's your rocket. Oh, and it's bloody noisy. Check that baby out. How cool is that? Now, now we can't go just yet, because we're gonna need, I'm going to come over here where it's a little bit quieter. Uh, we don't want to leave just yet, because of course, we're going in space. We will die. <laughs> so we're going to need some of these. So you got um, oxygen tanks, and these do have a recipe, but at the moment... Um, I couldn't find a way to actually fill these up, and from looking at these in the mod list, uh, sorry, the, um, the, the this thing, whatever the hell they call this, your inventory, um, they've already got air in them, so as you can see it says air remaining 90, so if I grab two of those, two of the large ones, and we're also going to get um, this suit of armour, so uh, the recipe for this is, oh this is to make, sorry, sorry, let's, let's backtrack a little bit there, just a little bit, this one, the titanium helmet, the recipe is as you would expect with um, any other recipe that makes uh, armour. So you just get your titanium ingots to make your, your helmet, and then you've got, you know, the rest of the armour is exactly the same as normal, except it's made out of titanium. So if you grab all them, uh, like the helmet just then, you add an oxygen mask so you can use it in space. So what we're going to do is grab ourselves a piece of each of this. So we are good, we've got our flag so we can take ownership of the moon. I'm also going to spawn in um, a sword as well, which is basically exactly the same recipe again as you'd expect. Now, a couple of the items that I'm going to show you before we go um, is in the special menu. So, uh, if you press R, this brings up a separate menu. So as you can see here, you've got your normal armour slot, so we'll put our armour on, you'll notice straight away that um, it's just copying your skin, so he hasn't got a texture yet for the armour. Uh, just, just watch this, see how my head grows? <laughs> so that's what it's doing, it's just copying your skin. Um, there's these other items that I have no idea what they are. Uh, these two here, I don't know, but these two here are your oxygen tanks, so if we put these in Let's bring up uh, this so we can grab another one of those. And that'd be where your oxygen tanks go. We can show you in a little while. And unfortunately, I don't know what this is for either. I imagine this is your uh, inventory crafting bench, but in a different format. Uh, this item, now where is that item? That one. See, it's just called unnamed at the moment. So like I say, I have no idea what it's for. <laughs> but we're going to equip it anyway. Um, we've also got, uh, where is it? I think it was... The sensor glasses with oxygen mask. I believe that goes... No. It doesn't seem to have much of a use at the moment. If I spawn in the standard sensor glasses, I can show you what they do. Whoops. Where are those at now? Uh, I think they're on the other menu. Uh, let's bring up the other menu. Here we go. There they are. These sensor glasses. These actually do something different. So let's just take the helm off and put them on. There you go. Yeah. Not quite sure what he has planned for these, but they're definitely going to have a use at some point. We're not going to leave those on because I will suffocate when we get to space. Right then. So we've got our flag, we've got a sword, we've got our spacesuit crafted. Uh, let's go back, see what else there is to have a look at. We've got all these different ones. Now, these are all uh, from different planets. Now, this is where it's going to start getting interesting, because we need to go into space. Um, one other thing, one, one, one other thing. You'll have noticed this 
It's called an oxygen distributor and an oxygen pipe and an oxygen collector. Now, obviously, I've not been able to talk to him about this and ask him what they are. I can only imagine that these are for filling up your oxygen tank. So if you place down this one, you can see the oxygen being sucked in. Can you see that? You can't right click this device, but you can attach this pipe to it and of course the oxygen distribu distributor. <laughs> and did you notice this thing that just popped up around us? It seems to have created an oxygen bubble. Now, I've tried to use this thing um, not in the overworld. Can you see that there? Can you see it? Um, and unfortunately it doesn't work. So, not 100% sure on that one. Like I say, you know, this is um, a work in progress. Not everything works. Right, let's bring some back up. Okay, so, the moment you have all been waiting for. Let's get in this rocket and show you what else we can do. Let's see the front. So, you right click to get in. You can press F5 to change you know, your, your screen. And as you can see there, space to launch, A and D to turn left and right, W and S go up. Uh, what was it now? Ah, we can't see it, can we? Never mind, it's gone. But let's press the space bar and lift off. Oh, we're building up, we're building up. We're going to be taking off any second now. Ooh, I'm so excited. She's gearing up, she's gearing up. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, come on, we have liftoff. Yay, we're off. Woo, check that out. Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> And what's going to happen now is, is when we get to maximum height, we should get a menu pop up. Any second now, there we go. So we get this menu now, and you basically get a choice of planets you can go and visit. Uh, so some of them are not working yet, some of them are. So this red one here for Saturn, uh, if you look down at the bottom there, it says it's a gas giant. It has no service and the gravity is rather high. Um, Io... Uh, it says it's hot, it's got volcanic activity, and its gravity is 18%. Uh, Europa, it's icy. So basically, um, it's telling you what sort of land generation it's going to have. Under the under ice ocean, that sounds really interesting. I might have to have a look at that one. Uh, gravity is 13%. So you've got a list of different ones. Some of them you can't go to, of course. Uranus uh, has not been worked on just yet. Neptune, yeah, can't go there. Jupiter... Um, it's got no surface at the moment. Look, look at the gravity, it's crazy. So, but first we're going to visit the moon. Um, it was a good reason for that. I'll, I'll tell you when we get there. So let's, so what you do is you select moon um, and you go center dimension and it will then generate the moon. Hopefully. And here we go. So, as you can see, <laughs> you get a parachute but the parachute's just covered in all the random textures at the moment. Uh, not too sure what that's all about. So if you have a look on my back now, you'll see my oxygen tank. Which is cool, that's all hooked into your uh, your suit. Ah, oh, there we go, there's the land. And you'll also notice that there's a chest falling down with me. Again, I've got no information on what the plan is for that chest, but when it finally lands, there isn't anything in it. So, we'll, we'll have to keep an eye on the mod for the future to find out what that's all about. So there we go. We've landed. We've made it to the moon. Uh, we got a chest has landed as well. So, if we have a look in here, yeah, sometimes it doesn't open either. Uh, kind of buggy. Okay, so you see in the top right hand corner those two blue bars. That's basically your oxygen tank indicator. Oh, that's what I believe it to be. I'm pretty sure I'm right on that one. So if we go back into normal mode, I shouldn't be dying. I am dying. Why am I suffocating? No, not too sure about that one. Okay, we're going to have to go into creative, unfortunately. Right, so some of the things I wanted to point out. Real nice coding on this. You can see that I'm leaving footprints behind. So if I just have a wander over here, we've got footprints. And another thing you'll notice is there's no sound. Which is exactly what would happen if you was on the moon. There'd be no sound. Uh, some of the other things that we'll find on the moon is obviously the gravity. You can jump like this. Which is so cool. And you'll notice these, this thing over here. This is a meteorite. 
So the moon's pretty hostile. These things will fall out of the sky and land on you. Or land near you and destroy your stuff. And they're actually everywhere. There's one of them. Well, there you go. Do you see that then? We had one land. Let's see if we can get over there. There we go. And you can collect these up. Um, hopefully there'll be a plan for these in the future. Maybe you'll be able to use the meteorite for uh, for something. Some sort of crafting. Who knows? Let's go. Look at that. You see my little footprints from hopping about. So let's claim this. The moon is ours. So let's put down our flag. Yay! And let's spawn in our um, our moon rover. I don't know what you want to call it. A moon rover. Look at that. How cool is that? So this works off solar power. And you just right click to get in. And there you go. Away you go. It's pretty nippy. Oh yeah. It's slightly buggy as you can see. It's jumping around a bit. But you can drive around like that. Yay! This is so cool. And it struggles a little bit at going up. But it, it does, a, does a good job of it. It does a good job. Yeah, so there's not much going on on the moon. Not a great deal. One of the other cool things I like about this is if we just hop off and we look up. Look at that. Yeah, <laughs> you can see the overworld that you've just come from. How cool is that? I really like this. Really, really like this. So, you're probably thinking, okay, now you're on the moon, how the hell do you get back? Well, of course, you would need to create another launch pad and another rocket. So, let's get these in, and we'll go visit another planet. So there's our, our rocket. Again, no sound as it you know, should be like that, so it's like in reality. Um, let's turn around. There we go. Okay, let's go. All right, so here we are. We're back on the menu. So let's have a look at, uh, I don't know, this one. Europa. Let's go to Europa and see what's going on there. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, here we go. Parachuting in. Oh, don't see no lands just yet. Oh, oh God. We could be falling forever for all I know. Ah, there we go, there we go. Just slowly coming to view. You can't actually manoeuvre the parachute, by the way. You can actually, you know, you can see my character moving a little bit. But uh, it doesn't actually control the parachute at all. So we should touch down. Uh, there we are. And there's a yes, there's a chest following me as, as usual. So he's definitely got a plan for these things. Who knows what it is? There's the chest. Yeah, nothing in it. Right. So uh, that's definitely sluggish. As you can see, I'm not moving as well as I could, as I did on the other planet, uh, the moon, I should say. Uh, let's see if this moves any better. Yeah, this is definitely going to be the way forward. You need to get yourself a, a rover for sure. Now, doesn't seem to be much going on on this planet. Uh, yeah, we're having a good drive about and there doesn't seem to be much here. Nothing at all. I wonder if we can get off. Let's get off and see if we can find one of these underground... Oceans, maybe. This is all ice. The whole lot is ice. This must be an ocean down here somewhere. That'd be so cool to just get into a cavern of some sort. Let's see if I can get a. Let's get a torch. Oh, I can't place this torch. What about this torch? Whoops. No. Okay. Where is the normal Minecraft torches? There they are. I can't. Can you not place torches on ice? I guess not. No, we're going to be here forever doing that. Let's, let's. Oh, did a bug. No, we're okay. We're still here. There we go. Right. Let's go and try another planet. Because some of these planets do actually have um, hostile mobs. And wait until you see the hostile mobs. They are so funny. Uh, one other thing to note as well with the spaceship is not every launch will be perfect. You see why you have the ADWS uh, to control the thing is because there is a chance that your rocket won't launch properly and you'll crash and burn and die um, but the the maneuver maneuverability of it is so that you can hopefully try and rescue yourself out of a spiral. So let's see what happens. You'll know. You'll know right away if you're gonna crash. <laughs> It starts spiralling. So let's see what happens during this liftoff. Here we go. We're off. 
No, it seems to be a good launch. Oh yeah, let's go. Oh, I love it. I'm loving it. Just look at that. It's brilliant. Wow. Okay. Let's see. Um, ah, oh, that hasn't got any uh, information. Mars, I believe, would be a good place to visit. Let's go to Mars. I think this place has got hostile mobs. Here we go again. Chest is with us. Who knows what that's going to be used for in the future. Come on, where's the ground? I think we're going to need our sword ready for this one. Anybody there? I don't see anything. Oh, there we go. Can you see that over there? Oh, yeah. Who knew that there was life on Mars? So we're going to go and head off in that direction. It looks like there's nobody here. Again, gravity is a little bit different. Up. Up. Oh, there it is. I can just about see it just around this corner. So this thing is basically a creeper den. I don't know what the name of it officially is going to be, but in here, this is where creepers come from. <laughs> right, so if we hop down, let's go down there. Yeah, this is a creeper egg. So maybe if I wasn't... Oh, I can't do that, can I? Right, let's see. I think they're in this inventory somewhere. Oh, they're not actually there. Oh, there it is, there it is. Creeper egg. There we go. Now, who knows what this thing does? I have no idea. <laughs> but they are there. And when it's night time on this planet, the creepers come out. <laughs> you should see the creepers. They're brilliant. Right. Uh, one other item I completely forgot about, which we need right now, is the jetpack. There it is. So if we uh, bring up R... Replace our chest plate with the jetpack. We should be able to just go whoop, and jetpack up. Look, yay! How cool is that? So, there we go. You can stop yourself from taking massive falls to the ground. There's another creeper place over there. Can just about see it. Now, then, let's see if we can make it night time. I don't know if this is going to work, considering we're in a different dimension. No, it doesn't seem to work, fortunately. Well, we could hang around for a little while. I can hang around. I'll just cut scene to uh, when all the creepers come out to play. <laughs> uh, and while we're waiting, there's another thing that we're going to look at. Uh, this hasn't been implemented just yet, but it is there for you to have a nausea. And uh, again, I don't know what his plans are for this thing, but if you press M, you get the galaxy map. So you just scroll with your mouse wheel and you can see that we've got planet or the overworld on the right hand side there with the moon spinning around it. Can you just about see that? Zoom out a bit more and you've got all the other all the other planets. Look at that. How cool is that? So hopefully he will have a good plan for this. You can scroll out. That's as far as you can scroll out. And you can see all the different places you can visit. So that's a cool nifty little feature. And again, like I say, there's no it's, there's nothing for it at the moment, basically, but it's there. So that's one thing. Right, so I'm going to hang around, and for you it'll be a split second, but I'm going to wait for night time to come. That's sort of slowly on its way up, so I'll see you in a sec. Right, we're back. So while I was waiting for the sun to go down, um, I had a nosy around, and I came across this. Look at this. Oh, this is terrifying. There's all these creeper eggs and creeper spawners. Uh, I assume they're not spawning because the sun's still up in there. But if we have a look down there, we can go quite deep down. These things go really far down. Can you see that over the edge? So I'm hoping if we go for a little adventure, we will find a creeper down there. Oh, wish me luck. Let's go. So many eggs. There's one. Did you see him? Oh, we've got a spider as well and a zombie. Let's have a, have a drop down. There we go. Look at this state of them. So they've all got... Um, Masks, oxygen masks, and oxygen tanks. Look at the spider with it sat on its back. That is brilliant. Uh, another thing I noticed about these little tunnels is oh my god, look at this. Down at the bottom, we have whoops, I'm in fly mode there. Oh, we have these rooms, which are kind of weird. I mean, this is just jam packed with horrible mobs. 
my goodness I don't even know if you can see there video settings that's on bright um, I'll have to edit that so you can see properly my god how about you Mr. Creeper <laughs> again no sound as it should be we're in space can't hear screams in space there we go whoa fantastically scary Jesus this hole is just look at them all oh, come on creepers come on have at you <laughs> oh my god we're proper blowing the place up now uh, all right let's get the hell out of there so you really don't want to fall down one of these holes you really really don't want to fall down one of those holes yeah so there we are that is the Galactic Craft mod um, I can't wait until he sees some work, more work done to this thing I mean it's, it's great what he's done so far he's managed to play, implement some great stuff um, yeah I mean if you've got some suggestions on what you think he should add to it and what he could improve and anything like that make sure you put it in the comments section because this is the first mod review video I believe that's been done on this so he is looking for some tips and pointers and stuff to add so definitely you know if you want to have some input on this stick it in the comments section and don't forget if you liked the video to like favorite and share and we'll be keeping a close eye on this one because I really like the look of this and I'm hoping in the future when it's released I can do another look at this when everything's working as it should be Okay guys, check you next time. <laughs>